The big event that took over Kyocera Dome in Osaka, Japan, on November 22nd, with massive names like Blackpink's Rose and the Bruno Mars lighting up the lineup. People from all over couldn't wait to see them perform the newest single, APT, live on stage. And, just in case anyone doubted, Mama Awards 2024 had confirmed it too, Rose and Bruno were set to perform. Fans were ready. But here's where things get interesting, a little disappointing. Imagine waiting for that live moment, holding your breath, and then realizing, it's a pre-recorded video. Now, if you were watching from home, maybe you're only mildly bummed. But for Japanese fans who shelled out thousands in yen to see the magic in person, let's just say it was a whole new level of heartbreak. They expected a mind-blowing live performance for the debut of APT, only to see it pop up on the big screen as a playback that they only watch in the big screen. And let me tell you, these fans didn't just shrug it off. Social media exploded as they shared videos and vented their frustrations. In the playback clips, the audience went dead silent as soon as they realized they'd been served a recording. Japanese fans' reactions? Priceless. And not in a good way. They posted comments like, Feels like a scam. I felt like I was watching TV, in a stadium. Wait, I thought we were gonna see them live. Spent a fortune on tickets, for a video. I bought these tickets for a live show. Feeling betrayed here. It was funny, in a tragic way, when they just played a video. But Rosé and Bruno aren't at fault. So, what happened? How did Bruno Mars, known for his flawless live performances, end up in this mess? Turns out, Mr. Mars, being the perfectionist we know and love, had his reasons. Bruno wasn't thrilled about the stage setup at the Dome. It wasn't ideal for a live band, and he had concerns about the camera angles not giving him the control he wanted. So, rather than leaving things to chance, Bruno took charge, overseeing every detail, filming, camera direction, and even the location. Because, hey, if it's not perfect, it's not Bruno. With little time for proper rehearsals, Bruno opted for a pre-recorded performance to ensure every beat was flawless. I mean, let's be real, the man has standards, and he wasn't about to compromise. And then, there's another rumor swirling around. Could the reason behind the pre-recorded setup have something to do with Bruno's talent fee? Word on the street is, it's sky high. Did budget concerns mean Mama had to cut a few corners? Whatever the reason, one thing's for sure, fans felt a mix of betrayal, disbelief, and, yeah, maybe even a bit of awkward laughter. The thrill of a live moment, replaced by a screen. So, what do you think? Drop your comment below. Stay tuned on BP today, and see you in the next video.